making mastery learning a reality one day at a time. John Bergman here. And this week, I want to talk about something that is a bit of a touchy subject. That is a subject of what do you do? I'm going to bring my notes here. Uh, yeah. Making mastery learning a reality one day at a time. John Bergman here. Today, I want to talk about a touchy subject, and that is, shall we say, students who are trying to take shortcuts in mastery. What I'm discovering is that some of my students, for lack of a better thing, they're, they are copying their friend's work and showing it as their own. But one of the beauties of a mastery classroom is that they have to master it. I, I think what's happening is that students, at first when they hear about mastery, at least in my context, they, they love the idea because if they fail a test, they can take it over. They see that as a wet, big win, and it is. But it also means they have to actually master the content. And what's been happening the last few days is that we've hit a, a pretty difficult concept in, in my chemistry class that students have struggled with since I started teaching in 1980, whatever it was, six. Uh, so it's a, it's a very difficult topic that students have always struggled with. And then what I'm seeing is that students, especially in the, the franticness of trying to get everything mastered in uh, the end of a quarter, I talked about this, you know, having hard deadlines, is that a lot of students have been bringing me these amazing showing uh, papers with all the correct answers. But then, of course, part of the process is, as I say, explain to me how you did this. Because I'm seeing something also that, that, that I can sort of qu quickly pick up on, is that when they're doing these types of uh, problems, there's sort of an expectation that I will see uh, like some scratch work that kind of helps them get to the right answer, but they've got these perfectly clean papers and they're the right answers. And so of course I say, such and such, tell me, uh, how did you solve this problem? And clearly they have no idea. So they, and I'll just say, hey, did you get some help? And they'll say, well, yeah. One girl yesterday, she said, well, I just kind of Googled it, Mr. Bergman. I said, but you have to know why this is the way it is because you have to be able to do this problem independently of yourself, and it's important to understand this because this is kind of getting the heart and soul of chemistry. But the beauty of mastery is that I can have those conversations. Because you know, before I did mastery, I would collect these papers and I would grade them and I would give these kids perfect scores and I would think they understood it, but the reality is they don't. And so the, the, the beauty of this system is that I'm allowing them or I'm forcing them, maybe that's the better answer, I'm forcing them to actually master it. And if they can't explain it, then they can't do it. Uh, kind of an interesting or sort of a funny anecdote is one student who came to me at the end of the last quarter, which was last week, by the way, and attempting to try and get a whole bunch of things sort of passed. And then I started asking him questions and he clearly just didn't understand any of it. And uh, he happens to be one, on one of our, our uh, athletic teams and the, the, the captain of the athletic team who is in a different class of mine was sitting in the room. Uh, he was a younger student, a sophomore, and the, the senior was the, the captain of the team. And I turned to the captain, who's a great kid and one of the students that I admire here at the school, and I said, dude, what are you gonna, you know, what's up with your, your player here? And he said, oh my, we're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> and uh, I understood that yesterday there was some running involved in the, the younger man. And so <laughs> this young man kind of made a bad choice. He, he didn't do his work. He didn't do it with excellence. He hadn't really mastered it. And then he brought it to me and tried to pass it off essentially as his own work in front of the captain of his athletic team. And, um, and I called him on it. So uh, I guess the point is, is that mastery learning is hard. It's hard for students to understand some concepts and it's actually harder for the student but it's better for the student right because they have to actually learn the content before they can move on and if they try to take a shortcut there are no shortcuts learning is hard work and they're learning that and some of them are like a little bit pissed about it right now it's like i did the work no you didn't you didn't understand it the key is did you learn it not did you do it anyways hey i encourage you to uh push subscribe in whatever podcast feed you're in, or if you're just subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you're watching this on YouTube. Hey, you can make mastery learning a reality one day at a time. John Bergman out.